Hello everyone, this is the Salty Bunny, welcome to Not Really A Guide Number 7. Today, for this shorter video, we will roll back in time and take a look at the United States Navy's first aircraft carrier, converted in 1920 from the Collier, a bulk cargo ship, USS Jupiter. USS Langley is a tier 4 carrier from the US Tech Tree. Her small size gives her less aircraft for the tier. Langley's air wing is comprised of two attack aircraft flights of Grumman F-3F Gulf Hawk with a payload of four 5-inch high explosive rockets. Three flights of Martin T-4M torpedo bomber with a payload of one Mark 7 aerial torpedo. And three flights of Vought SBU Corsair dive bombers with a payload of one high explosive bomb. Langley have a fairly weak secondary suite, equipped with four single barrel 5 inch guns, they were more to scare destroyers than anything else. She is also very light of anti-air defense, with 16 single mount Browning 50 caliber machine guns and four single mount 3 inch guns. Her AA is not only light, it is also a very short range, for the survivability, well, don't expect to harmlessly charge through the battlefield. With at best a 20 mm of citadel armor, her armor is paper thin, ranging from 6 mm to 13 mm elsewhere. Also her open hangar situated below the flight deck is vulnerable to high explosives shells. Langley, as an experimental ship, was the first US Navy's turbo-electric powered ship. That's the same technology the power diesel locomotives. That might seem impressive but in game she will sail at a less exciting 15 knots. Mind you, the planes at the time she entered service were slow and light, so having a 30 knots carrier was a pipe dream for that era. Langley is well suited for standoff attacks. You will preferably try to remain undetected, else it might sour your day. Her aircrafts are easy to handle and can deal quite a bit of damage. Your dive bombers should be your prime source of damage with a potential damage of 7341% chance to set stuff on fire. Overall, USS Langley requires a skilled and strategic approach to be effective in battle. It can be a challenging ship to play, but in the right hands, it can be a formidable opponent that will justify the Sky Cancer appellation. That's it for the description. Let's move to the actual gameplay.
That's all we had for you today. Thank you for watching the video.